Okay, we are starting the Q&A sessions and the first block that we're announcing is fiction. Here we are with uh, Sara Martinez Sanz and Natalia Ruiz with the movie 8th of February. ¿Qué haces cuando tienes delante a una persona que te puede cambiar la vida? Que tiene el poder de darte esa oportunidad por la que te estás matando cada día. ¿Cómo os conocisteis? Me empezó a escribir mucho y me insistió para quedar. Bueno, aquí van a cerrar ya. ¿Quieres que subamos a casa o vivo aquí arriba? Pero si tú lo que estás deseando es besarme. ¿Qué dices? Es como si hubiera dejado de ser dueña de mí misma. Hola, mi nombre es Elisa González Sae y, y consiento esta grabación. It is based on a true story. This is told in the movie, and it's about an actress that wants to play in a film, so she goes to the director's place and spend the night with him, thinking that he might help her. Uh, how was the work with sources? Because it's based on a true story. Who did you interview for that? I mean, like, how was the preparation going? There was a few persons, and this is based on one of them. Um, um, yeah. It's, it's an inspiration, and I've also have had experience, so it's a mix of everything, um, and it's the story of many. Yes, that's true, and in the end, the other girl comes to the interview, so yes. in the end, it yeah. shows that it's actually many, many stories. Um, you say a really beautiful thing in the movie. They have this power only because we're giving them it. Yeah. Do you believe it? And how are we giving them this power and how we cannot give them the power over us? Um, talking and doing these things. Yeah. It's, it's very important because all of women have been through this. Yeah, well, men yeah. and wo um, yeah. women. Um, yes, talking about it, stop of being afraid or scared. Um, so, if we do this, like, maybe this stops somehow. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if we keep quiet and we keep having f fear of losing jobs or not, yes. um, having our dreams come true or whatever, no? Uh, so, and doing these kind of stories and, yeah, sharing it. Uh, you're also saying uh, men don't know where the resistance ends and the rape begin and then the interview ends So you're asking actually this question the audience. What is actually a rape? And is there a rape without violence? What is your opinion on it? And how would you explain it? <laughs> That's a great question yeah. um, I think this question is uh, on this film because I don't really know the answer yeah. um, I believe that yes, um, because if I hear rape, my image in my mind is um, someone acting with violence, hmm. but this is another way. Uh, there's no violence, but there is maybe a different kind of violence, no, with hmm. um, soft words and promises. Also psychological, yes. Yeah, psychological, yeah. yes. And we are, we are changing because maybe 10 years ago, there was a like like normal right now yes. you are thinking and uh, may, maybe if you thought about other experience you say oh my god how, how i cool this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah how to name that's it. what yeah. happens to the character yeah. like she's have i been raped and i didn't know it yes so she's been aware of that in this moment uh, having the the interview yes. with the journalist because um, she thought that that experience was her fault. Yes. Because she wasn't able to put limits. Yeah. And but say it's like, no. Oh no, he 
he does the same thing with everybody. So is it really your uh, her fault or the fault no. of the character no. or no. whose fault is that? Yes, <laughs> actually. Yes, you as the really main actress in the movie, how was your how did you also get <laughs> into role? What tips did you because it's a really emotional thing to to get in this role and play the victim? Um mm. So I've had a very uncomfortable experience as well, so um, I, I can be inspired of that. And the, the actors, they were very generous and they, were, they are amazing, so it was very easy to, to, work, with to work with them. Yeah, um, yeah and, and in the shooting we only have three persons, I say to everybody, no, no, only, only three persons because Sarah, she has to be alone yes. um, to feel more confident. Yeah, mm -hmm. we took care of that. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell something that all should women and men understand from this film? Uh, men, <clears throat> be aware of your power and <laughs> use, use it with um, responsibility yes. and in an aware way because I think a lot of people are not aware of their power and they don't know how to use it properly. Yeah. And for women, um, don't, f don't be afraid. Yeah. And also like, we, we don't know how to act in this situation. We, we haven't been, um, I've, I've, we've never had yeah. like... Yes, yeah, we, you don't we think have, about this on a daily yeah, basis yeah. to know how to yeah. act. We, yeah, we what do you do if talk. this happens to we you? Like, to how, how do you manage this situation? Yeah. Um, yes. And I think if, if you see films like this, maybe you're, okay, if this happens to me, what would I do? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yes. So this is really helpful in this way. Yeah. Okay, thank you. These are all my questions. If we have some questions from the audience, there's an open mic. If not, thank you so much. Mm. We will end the Q&A session now. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.